Jo Barnes here and I wanted to do you a video regarding SSL certificates. This is a very hot topic and um, many people have been asking me about SSL certificates and uh, what's going on. So I wanted to uh, make this video to quickly run through the key things that you need to know. So let's head straight over to Facebook. Okay, so here we are in the developers uh, blog, which on Tuesday, May the 10th, they made an announcement. It was all in developers speak um, so most of us would have just heard it through the grapevine and that is that as of October the 1st all canvas apps must don't worry about this bit here obtain an SSL certificate is the bit we want to concern ourselves with right now this bit is all to do with being an app developer so that's why I don't want you to worry about that but all canvas apps must obtain an SSL certificate. This is very important from October the 1st this year. Now, why does that apply to us? It applies to every single one of us who create iframe pages. Because if I head over to the Facebook integration page of where we integrate our iframe page with Facebook, you'll notice that we use a canvas URL. OK, and this is where Facebook pulls the content um, from our apps canvas page. So it looks as though, and um, we need to get further clarification from this as we go through the year, but it looks as though every single person who's creating any kind of app, which essentially an iframe is, will need to have this secure um, URL. Now to get a secure URL, you need an SSL certificate. So what is SSSL or even just SSL? SSL equals secure sockets layers. That's actually what it means, secure sockets layers. Now, that is incredibly clear, isn't it? We can gather exactly what it is from that statement there. <laughs> what it actually means is that your information is transferred across the net. So when somebody's searching for your domain, um, then uh, they get the information through. It's, it's encoded differently. It's encrypted differently across the internet, um, which means that when they go to get your information, they're getting it across a secure connection. It makes it much more difficult for people to be able to get in and see your information. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, okay? And HTTPS equals Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. Now, the HTTP and the HTTPS are obviously what go at the beginning of your URL. And I kind of liken it a little bit to, I don't know if you guys ever watch Star Trek. If you ever watch Star Trek um, and you're currently wondering where I'm going with this and why Star Trek would be relevant whatsoever to HTTPS, um, it's because if you think about it, um, when you type in a URL into a browser, then you are then being transported to the web page. Yeah. Um, and what SSL basically means by having an SSL certificate, a secure socket layer certificate, it means that when you type in the URL into the browser and you are then transported across the net, you are you are transported within a secure encryption to get to your web page. OK, so that's kind of how I liken it. So the best thing, <laughs> really, uh, the key thing that you need to know is by having an SSL certificate, then your domain is housed within a secure uh, coding encryption. Um, and it means that it makes it a lot more difficult for people to be able to um, get into your account, get into your web page and see your information. So what Facebook are saying is that by October this year, we all need to have these SSL certificates if we are creating apps. Um, and when people surf Facebook, they will be surfing using HTTPS. Let me show you what that is. If I go over to my profile here and go to my account settings, I'll click on account settings. And down here under account security, if I click on change, you'll see here it says secure browsing. Browse Facebook on a secure connection whenever possible. Now, one of the reasons Facebook created this is because when you're out and about, and lots of people are these days, and they've got their iPads and their little MacBooks and uh, their little PCs, uh, laptops, and they're out at cafes and what have you, and they are secure, they're browsing Facebook, it means it's much easier for people to be able to get in because they're using shared Wi-Fi and stuff. It means it's a lot easier for people to be able to get into their account um, and utilize their account details. So Facebook created this HTTPS, which basically means 
that you are browsing Facebook on this secure connection, which makes it far more difficult for people to be able to get into your account details. Okay. The downside of browsing on HTTPS is it means if you hit a page that is not SSL secured, you don't have access to it. Now I'm sure Carol and Ozzy won't mind me using their page as an example. But here they have set up an iframe through an app and as you'll notice because I'm using HTTPS secure browsing on Facebook um, then we have this box that comes up rather than their welcome page. This says we can't display this content while you're viewing Facebook over a secure connection. Now Facebook gives you the option to temporarily switch to a regular connection to, to see this app but are people going to bother? We've got seconds haven't we to catch people when they hit our page so it's really important that we take the necessary steps to ensure that our page is secured. Okay. So the next stage then is where do we get an SSL certificate from? Okay, well, um, there are going to be lots of people out there. Let me tell you right now, lots of people out there that are going to start to com be coming up with SSL certificates all over the place. And I urge you guys to make sure that you get an SSL certificate from a reputable source. Not all SSL certificates will work. So if you just go out there and find the cheapest option, it's all about browsers recognizing the certificate. Okay, that's what it's about. And if it's a cheap certificate and a browser, uh, Firefox, IE8, Safari, Chrome, if it does not recognize the certificate, then it will not recognize it as a secure connection and it will read it like any other page. OK, and then this will happen. So you must get your do not be lured into buying a cheap SSL certificate just because somebody's telling you, hey, hey, come and secure your page. You must ensure you get one from a reputable source. So my recommendations are um, HostGator. OK, HostGator, if you have an account with HostGator already, then you can go and grab your SSL certificate. And I'll come back to that in a second. The other one is DigiCert, DigiCert.com. OK, now these are not the cheapest, but Google use these, Facebook use these guys. Very, very reputable. OK, so either HostGator or DigiCert are my recommendations. Now, if you already have a business account with HostGator, you can go and get your SSL certificate for free. Please note an SSL certificate lasts one year. At the end of one year, you are going to need to renew it. But if you have a business account with HostGator, they will do that for you absolutely free. So there are many benefits to having a business account with HostGator and using their SSL certificates. If you want to get your SSL certificate through HostGator because you have a business account, simply log on to HostGator.com. OK, have I got the main page here or have I gone through already? I've gone through already. Hold on a second. Let me go to back to HostGator.com for you. So here I am in HostGator.com, OK, the main page. Um, and they're having a super sale at the moment, guys. Um, and what we're looking for is the support button over here. If you click on support, that's going to take you to this page. Simply go down here to SSL certificates, OK, and click on SSL certificates. Go down here under articles and click on SSL getting started. OK, please feel free, obviously, to read up on all of these articles. They've got some really good information in here all about SSL certificates and what they mean. But if you just want to get cracking and go and get your certificate, go into SSL getting started. OK, and then down here. Um, then you've got your SSL included with business plan or your SSL purchase separately. So if you've already got a business plan, you will simply be directed to this page. OK, where you'll put in your email, your domain name, the domain for the SSL to be installed on. What that means is that an SSL certificate can only be installed on one domain name at a time. OK, now you can from HostGator buy a multiple license, which means you can license up to, I think it's 100 domains, but that is going to cost you $150. OK, so you can do that um, and you would go into um, 
one of these articles on here. If you just go through their article base, okay, then you will see that they do offer an article on multiple domains. I can't remember where it is, but just go and have a look through their article base um, and they will tell you more about the multiple domains. But as I said, it does cost you $150. If you know which domain that you do all of your iframe templates under and you just want to secure that domain, then just head over here um, and just fill in the details for that. It's what I've done. I haven't got a multiple multiple domain license I have secured one domain where I do all of my Facebook iframe work under that's the only one that I need the SSL certificate on right now okay so go in here give them all of the details um, and then they will set up that SSL certificate for you if you uh, do not have a business account and you need to get your SSL certificate then you will be on this page which is the separate SSL certificate and the charge is $50 okay for a year plus two dollars a month for a dedicated IP charge okay because SSLs um, I'm not going to go into the details of dedicated IPs but they are attached to dedicated IPs okay so you will be charged a total of seventy four dollars all right if you if you go through the HostGator route if you use DigiCert okay then it's a hundred and forty four dollars for one year or you can buy, you say that you're going to be with them for three years um, and, and it's going to cost you $115 per year. So that is where you would go and get your SSL certificates. Okay, now I've put this video with some comments below. So if you have any questions or queries, don't hesitate to go below this video and ask me and I will do my best to answer your questions. Okay. Now, just to let you know what's happening with the Social Networking Academy, if you're using our free iframe templates over at the Social Networking Academy page, okay, you need do nothing. We have put an SSL certificate on our hosting company where we host these iframe templates. And you will notice this page here is on um, our um secured domain all right so that means this shows up even though i'm browsing using https so if you're using one of our free iframe templates you do not need to do anything if however you are using our wordpress theme please note that this is a theme not a plugin i happen to know that carol and ozzy are using our wordpress theme so guys you all people who are using our wordpress theme will need to go and secure your own domains because you are installing wordpress on your domain and then you are simply using our theme within your wordpress installation OK, so all of the actual activity, everything else is all being hosted on your domain. So you will need to go and secure your own domain. OK, and the last thing I would just like to say, if you are using, if you have a domain and you have a blog on that domain and you also want to use your iframes, OK, then do please go over to our site have a look at the creator website on Facebook course and on video number 22 I have a video called create a subdomain now within that video I actually show you how to create subdirectories okay if you want to create a subdirectory that will be included under your SSL certificate if you create a subdomain, however, and I will be updating this video over the next week, if you create a subdomain, that will not be included. So do go and watch this video because within this video, I do explain very clearly how to set up subdirectories. So you can have your blog on your main domain, then you can create a subdirectory of your blog, do a second installation of WordPress and install our WordPress theme within that subdirectory. And that will all be included within your SSL certificate. OK, so I hope that that has helped a little bit. It's probably brought up more questions, possibly than answers. But as I said, do um, just ask any questions you have on the comments box below or head over to our fan page um, and post your questions on the wall of our fan page. And I will do everything I can to help you guys um, answer your questions. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.